Say hello to one and all. In today's video, we'll discuss about investing in virtual land and the metaverse. Buying some of these areas will be a significant opportunity. Some of the use cases and purposes of these land parcels, as well as the factors that contribute to their worth, will be discussed in these metaverses. So, if you've ever had questions regarding virtual land and the metaverse, this is the video for you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and like this video. With that in mind, welcome to the NFT Nuggets! In order to avoid any misunderstanding, we'd want to make clear that this is not financial advice. Investing in the NFT space is extremely dangerous, so you should conduct your own study and come to your own conclusions. That being said, let's get started now! Some plots of Metaverse land have been sold for thousands, if not millions of dollars. And you might be asking what the use cases are. We believe this will be one of the best opportunities to get into crypto and NFTs. Is there a purpose for these virtual parcels of land that are being used? With the land you acquire in certain games, there are actually many different things you may do with it. Here's a list of possible uses for that plot of land that could lead to the creation of a firm that operates anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter where you are in the metaverse. It is possible for you to arrange parties or gatherings, right? You can have a group of individuals from the metaverse come to your location. Or you can hold a completely new event for a different purpose. This land can be used to host both your own experiences and those of others. As an alternative, you may make this land your home in the metaverse. There may be various uses for that piece of land, but it all depends on the game you're playing. By acquiring one of the plots or parcels of land in this metaverse, you can perform these use cases. Having a parcel of land might be beneficial in several instances. So, let's look at a few real-world situations. Assuming you decide to create a business on that plot of land, you'll be able to charge for whatever goods or services you decide to offer, and you'll have a new stream of revenue. You can charge individuals to attend private events or parties. And you can do so in a variety of ways. Snoop Dogg is having a private party in the sandbox. And he has an exclusive pass right, which people must own in order to attend. There are a lot of additional things you can do with that resource, including creating experiences and games that charge a fee to access in order to play the game being hosted on that particular piece of land. Thus, the land itself serves as a foundation for the creation of a plethora of other objects that can provide you with advantages in the metaverse. In other words, the land you'll be able to employ for a variety of purposes is actually quite strong. Isn't it the same for real life too when you think about it? In real life, you can buy land that can be used as a home, a company, a party location, and more. In a virtual world, it won't be any different. This metaverse could be much cooler because there will be so many different experiences and activities that you can design. In light of what we've learned thus far about the various uses for land in a given metaverse, we thought we'd share some examples of games that are now offering land for sale or that you can check out on the secondary market. Axie Infinity is the first game we'd want to discuss, and it's currently the most popular play-to-earn game. So far, the most popular one is a card game in which players can pit themselves against a variety of various axes, which are these characters in the game. You may be wondering, where is this game taking place? So yet, they haven't launched the second installment of their game. The true homeland of the axis, Lunasia, will be included in the game and will be divided into tokenized parcels of land that can serve both residences and bases of operations for the axis. In Lonasia, you'll be able to take part in a wide range of events, activities, and modes of gameplay in general. Axie Infinity's marketplace shows that land is already for sale on the secondary market. Due to a limited number of land plots being released with the game, you will be able to purchase some of these plots on the Axie Infinity marketplace. Savannah, Arctic, Genesis, Forest, and Mystic are all sorts of land. Some of these tracts of property are already selling for thousands, tens of thousands, and in some cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars, based on what we can see. As previously stated, the owners of Axie Infinity have not yet distributed all of the territory in the game. So, to stay up to date on land sales, be sure to join their Discord and follow them on Twitter. Decentraland is the next topic we'd want to discuss. What we're seeing now in Decentraland is a very good representation of what a future metaverse will look like. 
Using digital avatars, players can communicate with each other and participate in various activities in this virtual environment. User-generated material is a big part of Decentraland's activities and structures. Developers and builders within Decentraland, however, are responsible for creating these experiences. As we previously stated, folks are building out these experiences on land parcels they own. We can now check out the secondary market for the land plots that are now available for sale on Decentraland's website and see where we can buy some of these plots within the Decentraland. You can see where these plots of property are now located as well as the current price that the owner is seeking for that plot of land. One of the most popular metaverses currently in development is Decentraland. There are a few properties on the market for less than $10,000, such as the one we're looking at right now. There are 3,690 mana tokens worth $2.50, but this is in their cryptocurrency token mana. Currently, Decentraland is home to a growing number of builders and developers who are actively working on the project. As a result, there's a great deal of interest in seeing how this game develops. As a thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel, we'll be giving away NFTs. So you won't want to lose out on the opportunity to play in the next round of game. The Sandbox, a new form of a metaverse, is what we'll be discussing today. It is a voxelized version of a metaverse. Therefore, the graphics will resemble Minecraft. They mention here that the Sandbox is a virtual metaverse where people can play, construct, own and monetize their virtual experiences in order to provide you their definition of it. Artists, developers and gamers may use our tools to construct the platform they've always dreamed of. The Sandbox environment is currently home to a variety of different activities and games. Similar to Decentraland, this metaverse will have user-generated content which means that the games and experiences will be developed by individuals rather than the firm. Moreover, as we previously stated, you must possess parcels of land in this metaverse to do so. As of now, the sandbox is showing great promise, and it already has a number of great partners. The Walking Dead, the Smurfs, Dead Mouse, Atari, and many more have collaborated with them in the past. They've also cooperated with Snoop Dogg and other celebrities. Moreover, we believe that this game in particular has the greatest potential to become one of the most important metaverses on which we will all end up participating. There is something about the voxelized sensation that we all grew up with in Minecraft and many of the early games that we think is unique. To buy some of these plots of land, you'll need to go to OpenSea, where they can be found on the secondary market. However, not all of the land has been released yet, and there are still current sales taking place. That's why it's a good idea to follow them on social media, such as Twitter or Discord. OpenSea is a good place to see some of the secondary market plots that are now available. Moving on, we'd like to discuss Gala Games Mirandas. An epic fantasy RPG set in a large globe with five player monarchs is what a Gala Games provides for the game of Mirandas. Game players have complete freedom of choice. They can venture into the wilderness on their own, join one of the king's courts, or set up shop in one of the five main towns of the realm, all of which offer their own unique challenges and rewards. One of the game's key mechanics is the ability for players to possess land titles, which gives them the ability to claim large swaths of wilderness and establish settlements ranging from modest farms to sprawling cities. In the epic struggle against evil, you get to select your own path in Mirandas. A lot of gamers are looking forward to Mirandas, since it's going to be a fantasy RPG, and there's going to be a lot to do in the land of Mirandas. Land and deeds for sale are also available on the secondary market from time to time. The land in Mirandas is relatively limited, and there aren't many parcels of land now on the market, or that have come on the market yet. There will be more land sales handled in the same manner as all of the other games we've discussed so far. The secondary market and open sea may include some land deeds that are available for purchase on their marketplace within the Gala Games. For the sake of time, we've only included and described a few of our favorite games. Even while we could have gone into more detail on each and every one of these games, we also want you to do your own research and check out these games for yourself. In our opinion, these are some of the best metaverse games out there, and we think they have a lot of promise. Other metaverse games that aren't on this list will undoubtedly be discovered in the future. We know there are some out there, so if you'd like me to check them out, please leave them in the comment area below. Now that we've covered a few projects and games connected to the metaverse, it's time to move on. 
we can't wait to get our hands on that functionality. Consider some of the reasons why these properties are worth so much money. The location, the size, the scarcity of the land, and the popularity of the metaverse and the game are the four elements we're going to discuss right here. Now let's discuss a little bit about where we're going. The parcel of land's worth is likely to be heavily influenced by its location, am I correct? Alternatively, the metaverse store line you purchased. For an online environment like Metaverse, it's similar to real life in that the location of the property you buy or own is likely to be more expensive or less expensive depending on the surrounding neighborhood, and that doesn't really alter. This will vary each game in the Metaverse. But as an example, let's say the plot of land in question is located near vital resources for the game. Then we can give Axie Infinity, where some of these plots are closer to resources that will be needed for these axes, or within this game that they will be creating on Lunasia. The Central Land, for example, is a good illustration of this. This world-centered continent has a number of hubs and destinations that are more popular than others. If you've got a lot of people in that area, you may want to pay more for the real estate, the virtual plots and land surrounding those centers. There will be a lot of other elements that will play a role in the importance of that area, but it all depends on the metaverse and the game that is behind it. Second, consider the size of the land. To continue, let us consider the issue of scale. To put it another way, size does matter, and you should never listen to anyone who tries to convince you otherwise. This time, we'll compare two different sized plots of land. So instead of using a larger plot of land, how about a smaller one? A larger plot of land will allow you to build more and create a more immersive experience in the metaverse. Larger parcels of land are therefore more valuable since they allow you to create more experiences, more games, a larger business, or whatever else you choose to do with the land you choose to buy. The concept of scarcity will be the subject of our next discussion. As a result, we may talk about the game's scarcity and popularity at the same time. This means that the number of land plots that can ever exist in these metaverses has been set. There will be a limit to the number of NFTs that can be issued. There will be a finite number of new lands that can be generated indefinitely. To put it another way, that's going to raise the value of the land where the game is popular. There are presently 100,000 pieces of land in the metaverse, and we're not too sure. But let's suppose that demand for those pieces of land will continue to rise as people become more accustomed and involved in playing the sandbox, which is expected to grow in popularity as the user base grows. As a result, the value of the land can be influenced by this. On the other hand, if the game itself, the metaverse on which you're purchasing that plot of land has no or very little users, you're wasting your money. You may have to cut the land's price to remain competitive if there isn't much demand for it. What's the use of owning that piece of land if there is no user base in this metaverse? As long as you don't plan on using it, your virtual land in the metaverse isn't worth a lot of money. Buying land in the middle of nowhere is also a lot like real life. And we're aware that we're making a lot of these similarities. The answer to this question is yes or no. Does the area have access to a medical facility? Is it surrounded by a group of people? If there isn't, then the land's purpose and value are greatly diminished. To summarize, we believe that the location, size, scarcity, and current popularity of the game or metaverse in which a plot of land is located are all characteristics that add value to a plot of land in the metaverse. As a last note, we'd like to offer our opinions on land investment in a metaverse as a whole. We believe this is going to be a huge opportunity for NFTs and crypto in general. It's a safe bet that one of these metaverses will succeed in some way if we all believe that we'll one day be immersed in these virtual worlds, like Ready Player One, and the land within those metaverses will hold value because you'll be able to build businesses, experiences, games, or even use it as your very own home. We believe this will lead to a plethora of new employment opportunities, both in the real world and in the metaverse. What if you just had one piece of land and were collecting resources on it? As an example, let's assume you hire a company to dig out those resources on your land. That's a job you're providing to someone else too. A virtual real estate broker will also be in the mix, which we believe is a fantastic idea, right? As a result, there will be persons brokering land deals in the metaverse. Those lands will also be looked after by real estate managers and virtual real estate managers. In the metaverse, you may rent out your land to another business owner or creative. 
If you're not a metaverse developer and you have no idea what to do with that land, you're not alone. What you could do is rent out the land to someone who wants to build anything and charge them monthly rent like we do in the real world. In other words, we're entering a brand new era. Cryptocurrency in the metaverse will begin to blossom and flourish once it takes off. This may also be your home, your crib, but in the metaverse where you go to relax after a long day of partying. You can decorate your home as you see fit, putting up art, people art, X copy art, or any other art and NFTs you wish to display. The metaverse will have a plethora of possibilities for how these plots of land might be put to use. They can be yours or someone else's to express themselves. So, it's going to be a lot of fun to see how everything turns out. Moreover, if you'd want to learn more about virtual land in the metaverse, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. As a result, we hope that you found today's film and this guide to land investment in the metaverse to be helpful. I hope you got something out of this. To ensure you don't miss a thing, we'd love for you to like our Facebook page and ping that notification bell. Having some of your opinions on virtual land in the metaverse in the comment box below would mean a lot to us. Once again, we'll be signing out here. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you all later!